Oh, hey, YouTube guys and YouTube gals. It's me, Magnum, over at Guns and Cars with two Zs, if you please. I'm out here today with the Mustang, and we're going to talk about all these crazy numbers on your tires and what they mean. So, stick around. Okay, the first numbers you see here that we're going to talk about are the uh, related to the size and uh, the load rating and the speed rating. So, as you can see, uh, there is a 235 right there. That is the width of the tread in millimeters. And at 25.4 millimeters per inch, uh, this tire has a tread of about nine and a quarter inches. The next thing you see there is the 50. That is the percentage of the ratio between the tread and the height of the tire. So basically it means that the, the height of the tire is 50% of the tread. The smaller that number is, typically the wider the tread is. So a 45 would be wider than a 50. A 40 would be wider than a 45, etc. The next number is uh, the Z, which means that the speed uh, rating on the tire is over 149 miles per hour. Uh, we can get more detailed on that in a minute and figure out exactly what the speed rating is. But the Z just means that it exceeds 149. The R means it's a radial tire as opposed to a bias ply tire. 18 is the wheel diameter. And then the next number, the 97, is the load rating which means in this particular uh, tire has a load rating of about 1650 pounds which is the maximum amount of weight that can be put on the tire before it has a failure the w is the actual speed rating on the tire uh, in this case the w means 168 miles per hour the way they arrive at that is uh, test the tire Put it under a 24 hour test at uh, where the tire is placed against a steel drum like in a dyno and uh, the tire has to maintain 168 miles per hour for a 24 hour period without a catastrophic failure now that simply means that you know if you want to drive 168 miles per hour you can probably be assured that the tire will not fail on its own by flying apart but that has no relationship whatsoever to a blowout caused by a nail or a screw left on the road so uh, that's just the rating the tire has been given uh, by the manufacturer okay the next uh, set of numbers on here that we're going to talk about is the um, something that's going to tell you how old the tire is. First of all, uh, you see the DOT on the left. That simply means that the tire meets the specifications from the Department of Transportation regarding passenger tires. The N9 is a plant code which the manufacturer has designated. Uh, they have a specific plant designated N9, uh, which means that that's where this tire came from. The Ford W is a size rating, again, uh, put on there by the manufacturer. So that relates to a specific size of tire or a group of sizes. The H367 are all, uh, co it's a code that is, uh, has some significant meaning to the manufacturer regarding this particular tire. The next number is the one I wanted to talk to you about, the 4411. That means that this tire was manufactured during the 44th week of 2011. 
which would be right around the end of October. This car has a build date of January 31st. So tires were about three months old when they were put on this car. So that's it for now as far as tire numbers are concerned. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I would love to hear your comments. Go out and check your tires uh, after you watch this and find that DOT uh, sequence and look at the, the number at the end, the four digit number at the end and uh, check it. Make sure all four of your tires have the same date on them too. So anyway, I'd love to hear your comments about this and uh, let me know what you find out. Until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay safe.